Hi, it's Lauren with laurenteachesflute.com and welcome to today's tutorial. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about how to assemble and disassemble the flute. So it should be a pretty short one. So this is going to be part of a beginner series that I'm going to do. So the first video I made a few weeks ago was how to blow into the head joints. If you didn't see that video, you can click here and uh, visit that. Um, before assembling your flute. So this is the second video of that series and I'll add on to it and I'll make a nice playlist that um, is in order that you can follow if you are a beginner. So anyway, let's get into it. So basically you want to start with your case on a flat surface. Uh, it can be on a table or on the floor if you want to sit on the floor and do this. Um, eventually, once you get comfortable with it, you can just go ahead and open the case um, with it sitting in your lap when you're sitting in a chair. Anyway, so I have a case cover. I'm going to unzip it and open it. So this is my case. And a lot of students, when they first begin, they want to open their cases like this sometimes. So that's not what you want to do. You want to have your case flat with the logo facing up and pull the latches to the side or flip up the um, clips if you have that. But anyway, just open it gently and here you have the flute. So you have three pieces. You have the head joints, you have the middle joint or the body of the flute, and then you have the foot joint. So the first piece I'm going to pick up in order to assemble it is the middle joint. So I'll just take my index finger and pull it out gently right here. And then I'll grab uh, the barrel of the middle joint with my left hand. So I have the body of the flute um, in my left hand um, and then I'm going to take next the foot joint and I'm going to grab it by the end here um, so I'm not touching any keys just like this. So I have the middle joint or the body, um, I'm grabbing it by the barrel and then I have the foot joint and I'm grabbing it by the end and this is very important that you do not um, grab the keys when you grab um, uh, the different joints of the flutes because this can uh, damage the mechanism especially if you are um, you know assembling your flute day in and day out it's just really important to get into the habit of not um, uh, touching the keys when you assemble the flute. So anyway basically you have the middle joint right here so this little lever key is at the top and you're grabbing the other end so you're not grabbing any of the keys and then you have the middle joints um, where you're grabbing that by the barrel. So anyway you're going to put the middle joint on um, very gently, don't force, just let the flutes kind of fall into the middle joints. Um, if it's crooked you'll don't force, just start over and just gently uh, twist it back and forth until the uh, rod is right in the middle of the key um, right here. So the rod is lining up in the middle of the key. If you have bigger hands, um, you might find that it's better for you to pu push the rod out this way a little bit so you can hold it like this. Um, but I have really small hands, so lining it up right in the center is perfect for me. Just um, so start with this as you know a, your default, and then you can do what works best for you as you begin to play. All right, so now that we have the body and the foot joint assembled, we are going to add the head joints. So very gently, you can just take your head joints by the tube here and hold it like so holds the um, barrel of the middle joints. I use my left hand to do that. And it very gently twists the head joint onto the flutes. And you wanna basically, as a general rule, obviously there's always exceptions um, because we all have different, um, you know, shapes <laughs> and uh, different things we need to do um, when, we, when we play. But in general, uh, to start, you want to line up the embouchure hole with the first key right here and just line it up with this row of keys. So the embouchure hole needs to line up like this and you can look at it like this um, or you can look at it like this to make sure it's lining up but I personally don't really do either of those. I just look at it from far away 
and adjust it like this. One other thing I'd like to mention is that you want the head joint to be just a little bit pulled out. You do not want it pushed all the way in like this because flutes aren't really designed to play in tune when they're all the way pushed in, but there's like a little room, um, you know, to, to make it play in tune. So most likely, you know, most flutists probably are just a little bit pulled out like this. Um, but as you start to play with the flute, um, you will adjust accordingly once you play with a tuner and figure it out. You will probably maybe need to pull out more or push in more, but this is generally the range <laughs> that I uh, pull out when I play. Now the next thing I would recommend is uh, putting some kind of indicators um, once you have your flute assembled and aligned perfectly, um, put some indicators on the head joint um, to make sure you line it up properly every time. So uh, I don't actually have any indicators on my flute because I'm so used to doing it like this. But I notice a lot of times, sometimes uh, my beginners will kind of forget to do it or do it really precisely and do it in the same exact spot every time. And it's important to align it in the same spot every time because you want to be consistent and you know do the same thing properly over and over again. Um, instead of just, it's like playing a different instrument almost if you align your flute differently every time. So uh, let's talk about um, making the mark indicators. So what I like to do for my new students is put these tiny, teeny, tiny little non-invasive <laughs> stickers um, on the flute. And these come right off. It's no problem. Um, it's in a pretty safe area of the flute to, to put a sticker right here. So I put one sticker on the head joint and one sticker on the middle joint. And you know, you can just use the tiniest sticker. It'll come right off, um, you know, whenever you want it to. And um, these are kind of cool. These, these both um, are available, uh, at least um, now, <laughs> they're, they're available at Office Max. I got these tiny little plain stickers at Office Max. And these, which are actually little gem stickers, they're kind of pretty. So that's something you could also use um, and it's kind of actually would look really pretty on the flute. <laughs> so basically I'm going to put the stickers on, one on the head joints and one on the middle joints. I'm just going to line them up like that. So you could line up the flute the same place every time just by lining up the dots. All right, so that's how to assemble your flute, and now we are going to disassemble it. So uh, I like to just start with the head joint, and left hand on the barrel, right hand on the tube of the head joint, twist it off very gently, no forcing, and place the head joint in the case, and then grab the end of the foot joint, and this you have to be very careful with. Um, you definitely don't want to rock it back and forth because this area of the body can bend. So uh, just be careful with that and place it gently in your case where it belongs and then you can place the middle joints or the body um, back into the case like so. And then press on the ends just a little bit to make sure everything's in place um, if you like. And then gently close the case. Now you'll see I have a cleaning rod and a cleaning cloth here. Obviously, once you begin playing the flute, you will definitely want to clean it, but we are not addressing this in this video. But basically, it's very important to leave the cleaning rod and the cleaning cloth outside of the case, especially right after you've used it because it's going to have, you know, bit on it and stuff and you don't want to put that back in your flute so leave it in the case cover if you have one or somewhere else just don't leave it in your flute and then close the case and you have just disassembled your flute. Alright so that's about it I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials like this one if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below or if you have any requests for any 
other specific topics on playing the flutes, um, please leave that in the comments below and I might be able to do a video on that topic in the future. Alright, well thank you for watching this video and I will see you next time. Alright, bye!